So before we actually start the whole video, he is going to give you guys the full backstory of his. Yay! Can we all get a clap? Yay! We're gonna get a Biblical Reaper backstory. He's gonna play that sad violin music in the background to get you guys in the mood to cry and to be able to donate to him after this video because obviously, if you didn't put anything, you would just see a fat man crying, which is obviously pathetic and you will obviously just click off the video and not give a second fucking shit about this idiot but he had that sad music which is gonna help him get more money he also is crying like a fucking slob throughout the whole video to right now where we're at most embarrassing yes your eyes are not deceiving you that is an iphone he's holding his hand while crying while asking for money from his viewers wondering if you're actually thinking about donating to him now so at one point he just fucking rubs his eyes and looks at the bottom right corner because he has a script yes ladies and gentlemen this idiot wrote a script for this video while claiming that was one of the hardest videos to make so this is probably the absolute hardest video I've ever had to make on my channel. Um. <laughs> I am fucking certain that he just changed the fucking page for his script so he can actually continue reading. After that, he says they always want to do YouTube as a job, but that if you start YouTube, you never start it for the money. You do it as a passion project. If you do YouTube, you have a passion for it. You don't do it just for the money. You don't do it just for any reason. But I've always had the dream of doing it for a living. So tell me, who is the fucking hypocrite here? The fat guy on the screen you see right now? or all the other people who are getting hate from all his fans because they're pointing out the bullshit. I think that's him, but it's for you guys to decide. If you actually like doing YouTube as a passion project, you would not be crying to your fucking fans to get $10,000 to continue doing YouTube as a living. You would try to find a real job. When I say real job, I mean something out of YouTube. YouTube is a job within itself. I consider it a job. I consider a lot of people who do YouTube fortunate and fucking lucky to do YouTube as a job and they should be grateful. Also, this guy is not grateful. He literally is saying that he wants to do this as a job. You guys have to fund me for it. So yeah, fuck you, yay. The past six months has been great, right? Like I took out my 401k, I took out any money that I had, and I went hard as I could on YouTube. A man with a dream, a man with more passion for what he's doing than he even knows how to handle. So now he's saying that he basically took out all of his savings so he can go full on on YouTube. His retirement savings? Yo, yeah, he took that out and he went full on YouTube. And now he's gonna complain after all of that's gone. YouTube failed and he's gonna, not gonna earn any money. He's gonna ask for money. This is pretty much what YouTube 2016 is. This is fucking crazy. This guy is completely fucking insane. And the, the worst part is, big YouTubers, go in the comment section of that video. Go, I fucking dare you. Go. You have Biblical Reaper calling you. Oh, thank you. Oh my god, yes. I'll suck your dick for the next three months of this and fuck you. Then you have Scarus who actually promoted him. Then you have Hollow Point. You have Overflow, Dramaler, actually. Keemstar. I think you should have opposed this, but no. T Martin. You have a lot of big guys in the fucking comment section of this video. And also on this GoFundMe. Donating money to this guy who actually went out and fucking took all of his savings out even though he has a kid even though he has a fucking family and he took out all of his fucking money to go on youtube tell me how fucking irresponsible is that that's fucking stupidly irresponsible to do that especially while you have a kid to fucking maintain and fucking go to college go to school you know get new clothes get fucking food everything allowance all of that and he fucking risked all of that for youtube i would not do that as a parent i would take care of my fucking child i will make sure that it always has something to eat something to wear and always be happy but no he has to go full on on his dreams because tell me is he more important or his fucking kid that's not gonna die of diabetes yeah his fucking kid is more important but obviously to him it isn't coming down the line to right now where we're at and i'm in a rough spot I never thought I would have to make a video like this. It's almost embarrassing. <laughs> yes, it is fucking embarrassing. 
a grown-ass 36-year-old man who had a good-paying job, who had his life ahead of him, who had a kid who still has one, who has a family crying on the internet with his iPhone 6 in his hand, asking for fucking money, with a 4 monitor background, the gaming setup in the background, a lighting, a fucking camera that he recently bought, asking for $10,000. It is embarrassing. It should be embarrassing. This video shouldn't have never been made. It's completely fucking disgusting that people are actually donating to him and they're actually supporting him. I can't believe this is YouTube 2016. This is just fucking disgusting. Somebody who's made 80 to 100 thousand dollars a year most of his life being in a position where he's worried about money. Now the great thing about this situation is I have a YouTube channel and I have tons of people that help support me on a daily basis. And I never thought I would come to this point, but I'm scared. Views are low right now for Call of Duty channels across the board. My buddies, Hollow, Chaos, everyone. It's a rough time. And I've gotten to the point where I've delinquished everything that I had saved. And now I'm worried. So now he has pretty much spent all of his money that he saved up, his 401k, he pretty much blew through buying equipment, I'm, I'm presuming starving his child to fucking death. And throughout this video we see a kind of a thing where he just keeps on saying how hard his life is. Even though he has all of this stuff, even though he has all of this money, had a good paying job, all of this stuff, life ahead of him. And he chose to do this to himself, nobody forced him to go on YouTube full time, nobody forced him to do this. And he keeps on saying how life is fucking hard. No it fucking isn't, life could have been fucking easy for you, but no you decide to fuck shit up and go YouTube full time when you know damn well the YouTube is not a fucking stable source of income and yet you still do it and now you expect people to fucking pay you for your fucking stupid idiot decisions fuck you biblical reaper fuck you some may say go find a real job you know work a real job and do youtube which i may start doing but i had this hope and this dream just to make it till November, December, January, when I know Call of Duty channels are blooming and I know I would do awesome. So now he's pretty much saying, no, I do not want to get a real job or real job besides YouTube. I want you guys to pay for me to so I can just sit on my ass and do nothing until November where I know I'll get views, where I know the new Call of Duty game is out, two of them in fact, where I know I'll make money, where I know I'll make views, and fuck you guys until then, you have to pay for that. No, I will not get off my ass and do anything. I have this dream that I will actually get. Okay, I'm triggered. I I'm gonna stop now. I'm actually full on triggered that this is actually happening. That YouTube 2016 is allowing grown ass men crying on the internet, doing something stupid they know damn well is not gonna succeed, and then fucking crying about it and getting paid for it. He has earned $3,000 on his GoFundMe, and it's fucking disgusting. I've done nothing but give my whole heart to what I love and doing, and that's YouTube. So what I've set up is I'm setting up a GoFundMe. You don't have to, but if you want to, I could really use some help. And it's embarrassing to ask, right? <laughs> Again, I'll reiterate this point, it is a embarrassing task, and the mere fact that you poured your whole heart into this does not mean you have to get anything re in return. If this was truly a passion project, you would be happy that people are watching you, that you have 157,000 subscribers that can actually make a, not a decent amount of living, but something from this, that you can actually be happy, that you can actually make videos people enjoy, but no, that's not enough, you want to do this as a living, you want to secure this, you want to earn money for me, you want to fucking do it as a job, this is not a passion project for you, you do not love YouTube. Having a kid, having a house, car, I've never been so scared about something in my life. <laughs> I would never think in a million years I'd be asking people who support me to support me on another level. I've stayed away from Patrons, i stayed away from her Patreons or whatever because I just didn't want to do it. Even though I know there's potential to make money from it, I tried to avoid it. But sometimes you have to swallow your pride and uh, do what you need to do. So this is my... If you want to swallow your pride, I suggest you stop doing this little bullshit ass fucking act 
and swallow your pride. Actually, not do this stupid ass. Oh, I'm gonna cry on the internet and it's so fucking hard. Oh my god, I have to cry on the internet to get ten thousand dollars. It's so fucking hard for me. Like, oh my god. No, that is not hard. That's fucking easy. You just go on, you cry a little bit, you read your fucking script, you blobber a little bit, your three chins get exposed, you pretty much look like a fucking idiot, you get $10,000, and you take it easy, and then you wait until November, you're pr pretty much gonna be comfortable, and this is fucking stupid that people are still supporting you, I'm gonna reiterate this point until the fucking end of time, people are supporting this dude, he has a passion for YouTube, and yet is still doing this, I do not think so, I think this is just full on bullshittery. So, I'm setting up this GoFundMe, and if you want to donate, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I know there's going to be some people in the comments that start hating and say this or that, but just remember, I'm a human like you, I have a kid like many others, and I'm scared. Okay, this fucking boy just breaks down and starts saying that if you actually say something to him, you are a hater. If you respond to him in a way that he doesn't think is supportive, you are a hater. He has a kid like everyone else. Well, if you do, go fucking support him. This is the last fucking time I'm gonna reiterate this point because it's fucking stupid. It's fucking stupid that you have to show a 36 year old man that the point of, you know, having a kid and having a family is not doing this, is not, you know, getting all of your retirement savings and spending on fucking YouTube and then put your kid into this fucking situation where you could have just kept your job and fucking didn't do this, earned money and have a comfortable life. Just because you don't have to get off your lazy ass to fucking do work. I'm not saying YouTube is not work. I know from personal experience it is. I know how hard it is. But if it's not working out for you, then you gotta stop. There's a certain point where you gotta stop. I'm not gonna react to this video anymore because I have to reiterate 100 points all over again. I think you guys get the gist of it. I think you guys get why Biblical Reaper is the ultimate fucking scammer, idiot, bullshit, idiot, stupid, idiot. I'm gonna stop. I do sympathize with him, his situation, but I think that this is not the solution to it. It's not asking from people from YouTube from the fucking internet for your money. There's literally 12 year old kids who just buy into this old, oh, violin trick, I'm gonna cry in the internet, I'm gonna get money, boom, yes, my life is easy now. No, no, I'm not gonna buy into it, it's bullshit. It's stupid, it's fucking idiotic. If you guys like the video, make sure to like. If you dislike the video, make sure to dislike. Peace. Jesus.